Come back and get you some. Oh, a big one. There's a big one. Go. Oh, those are big ones. Oh my gosh, those are big ones. Those are big ones. Come on, go, 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 go. Eat my spinner bait. He ate it. He ate it. He ate it. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's the one we're after, baby. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm out here on the lake this afternoon to do some fall bass fishing. It is a very sunny and windy afternoon out here, um, but I'm seeing a bunch of shad all over the place and I'm excited to see if I can catch some fish. I've got with me in the boat, I've got a spinner bait, I've got a buzz bait, I've got a chatter bait. So we're just gonna do some fall power fishing and see if we can catch some fish. I'm gonna start off by going over this way. There's a bunch of trees and there's some like shade lines over there. I'm gonna try to throw a spinner bait in those shade lines. But if that doesn't work out, I'm just gonna take off and hopefully find some fish feeding on some shad somewhere. So guys, I hope y'all are excited to join along with me. If so, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you've done this already. Now let's have an afternoon of hopefully slaying some big old fall bass. Let's go. Fish on, fish on. It's a good one, good one. What the heck, first tree. First tree I came to. That's a good one. <laughs> Come here. He choked that little spinner bait. Woohoo! Let's go. I was just kind of cruising up to the spot where I was going to start my fishing trip at, but I decided I would throw the spinner bait around to some of these little isolated trees. Look at that. Look at that. It's a good one. A little chunky one. I'll take it. That is a really nice bass to start the little fishing mission. Probably two and three quarters or so. Look how fat he is. He's definitely not here eating these shed. How about it? I will take that. Let's give you a little release here. Thanks for playing. Bye. Here's a fish. We're going to him. I can't tell how big he is. Oh, he's not that big. Woohoo! Finally got our second fish. We covered a lot of water since we caught our first one. Get up in here. We started out around those trees and I uh, caught a nice one, but I fished all around that cypress swamp area and didn't get any more bites. So I made my way down a creek channel and I'm just covered up in shad. There is shad all over the place. But that is my second bass of the afternoon. Quite a bit smaller than the first one, but I'll take it. It's a good step in the right direction. Hopefully we'll find some more. We'll send this guy back. Bye. Let's get some more. You got him. That's a decent fish, I think. Oh yeah, decent bass. I'm all turn I'm all spun around weird. Get out of those pads. Get out of those pads. Get him up, Cole. Get him up, Cole. Get him up. Get him up. We're going to him. Get him up. Yes. He's stuck in the grass mat. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's better. Check that out, guys. That's a much better bass than the last one. I am feeling very optimistic about this area. There are literally gazillions of shad all over the place. There's not much of a better way to imitate a bunch of shad than with a little small finesse spinner bait. My buddy uh, Kevin Baxter, the bait man, actually turned me on to this guy. This is the Spot Sticker Mini Me. It's a half ounce, but look at that. It's a small finesse profile with small blades on there. And that guy right there could not resist it. That's a three pounder right there. That's awesome. He was over there in that shade line. There's probably another one over there too. It's a good looking spot. Wind blown, bunch of shad. Gotta love that. Okay, let's send this one back. Let's get back out there. That was awesome. Bye, big guy. Thank you. Woohoo! There he goes. Yes. I cast it right back in the same spot where I had that fish because it's a perfect little spot. He came up and just crunched it on the surface. But there's another one. In the fall time, it's good to throw back in the same spot where you previously caught a fish because the bass tend to roam in, uh, in larger groups than they would other times of the year, especially whenever they're herding bait fish like this. There he is, another one, he's not as big. Yes, same spot as that last fish, just a little bit further down. Same little pocket though. Get up here. He choked it. He choked it. Woohoo! All right guys, we are having fun now. It took us a while to find the fish, but we are on them now. That is another beautiful specimen. A little bit smaller than the last one, but that's all right. He's still a two pounder, still a lot of fun to catch. That little mini me was down his throat. Got to love that, guys. Let's go. Okay, we're sitting back. Bye. There 
There's one. There's wood. He might be big. Oh, it's a decent wood. Yes. Yes, we're going right to him. Get over the pads. Get over the pads. Get over the pads. Get over the pads. I'm going to hold on to you. Stay on there. Stay on there, buddy. He's still on there. He's still on there. He's coming out. He's coming out. There he is. Woohoo! Oh, he looked big when he jumped. <laughs> Get in the boat! There we go, guys. We got another one. We have kind of drifted up in here to this really shallow flat. Man, he came off that so easy. That's a nice one. We're only in about a foot and a half of water, but there's still some shad back here and the wind's blowing. There's a lot of more pads. Um, but I'm just kind of cruising that spinnerbait through the pad lanes and pay it off. It's another like two and a quarter size fish. Just chunky, thick. Let you go right back into the pads. Oh, he's ready to go. Yeah, yeah. You'd love to see it. I just caught that last fish right out there. You can see it's opened up a little bit more, but the wind's still blowing in. There's still some shad hanging out. The pads are a little bit more sparse and he was just hanging out on one of those little clumps. He bit it so fast, it makes it feel like he was competing for it with another bass. There could definitely be some more over here. I'm just gonna keep cruising down this. I know it's gonna get really shallow and I might get stuck, but we'll make it work. There he is, another one, same spot. Same spot as the last one. So I'm telling you guys, you catch one fish in a spot in the fall time, you better be throwing back in there. Woohoo! Yes. I haven't been keeping up too well with how many I've caught, but I think this is my fifth or sixth one. Not a bad one. He's a little bit smaller. Probably a pound and three quarters or so. And these fish are just so tall and thick this time of year, even the small ones. Got to love it, just vicious. That's very right bite, it's fun too. We're gonna cast back in there, see if there's any more. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, I missed it. Come back and get you some. Oh, a big one. There's a big one. There's a good one. We're skiing him in, baby. <laughs> yes, he bit it and ran the opposite way. Not a bad one, stay on, he's barely hooked. Barely hooked. Don't jump. Just jump into the boat. Woo! Jump into my hands. Ah! Woo! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. He's he's not as big as I thought he was in rebit. He bit it and ran the opposite way. I thought I had like another three pounder or so, but he's gonna be about two and a half. This is probably our third biggest of the day. What's crazy is I was just about to leave this spot and um, they started schooling, so I quickly threw my anchor out, tossed my spinnerbait in there, and got one of the schoolers. There's definitely more where this one came from. Let's get him back in the water and let's get some more. Let's catch them all. I want to catch them all. Let's catch all these fish. Ah. There's a good one. There's a good one. Anchor down. Anchor down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just moved up a little bit. Hooked up immediately. Just chain spots just by a little bit. Get up here. That's another solid little guy on the spinner bait. Can't complain whatsoever. That bite was just vicious. He just thumped it, you know, and I leaned back into it. I didn't know if I was gonna have, you know, a one and a half pounder like this or a four pounder, the way he hit it. So cool. Man, I'm glad I made my way over here because I was not having any luck in the first few spots that I tried. That's just another thing about fall fishing. You wanna keep on the move. You wanna keep going, just cover as much water as possible. And then when you find them, you know, then you can slow down and pick the area apart like we're doing right now. fish. Oh, another nice one. I'll make her back out. <laughs> Don't want to creep up on the area too fast. How big is he? Another one about the same size, another two pounder or so. Just crushed that spinnerbait, guys. It's insane how well they're eating it today. I say that, but it's actually the perfect conditions for throwing a spinnerbait. Another chubby one. Ooh, just another big bellied shad eater right there. Man, I love this little spinnerbait. Couldn't be more pleased with it today. It is really performing. Look at the belly on that guy. Just a little tubster. Two pounder. Where's your five pound sister at? That's all I want to know. And we are in some dirt shallow water now. I mean, it's like maybe a foot at most. It's not deep, but these fish will move up really shallow to feed on these bait fish. There we go. <laughs> that was awesome. Watch him up and smoke it. Little guy. 
just a little guy, but that was cool. He came up and just clobbered it. <laughs> I'll take them all. I'll take all the fish that I can get today. This has just been so much fun catching them. Nice fish. This is really what fall fishing is all about. Just, you know, just covering water, getting around some bait fish, and just catching the crap out of them. That's why I look forward to the season all year long. Oh, they're schooling. Oh, they're schooling. Oh, they're schooling. Go, 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 go. Oh, those are big ones. Oh my gosh, those are big ones. Those are big ones. Come on, go, 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 go. My battery is not very charged up on this kayak. Holy flip, those, oh, they're still doing it. They're still doing it. There's a bunch of bass back here. Eat my spinner bait. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, he bit it, I missed him. Oh my gosh, they're schooling like crazy. Oh my gosh, they're schooling like crazy. They are schooling like crazy. There, oh, I missed my beta. No. Calm down. They are, they were schooling, there was like 20 bass schooling. Hopefully they'll come up and do that again. That was epic looking. That was crazy. They were schooling like crazy. I know they're still all out here. Come on, big guys, eat my spinner bait. All right, I haven't caught anything since I saw them come up schooling. Um, it's a little bit shallower right here and there's actually quite a bit of grass. It's kind of fouling up my spinnerbait blade. So I'm gonna make a quick little change. I got this jackhammer chatterbait right here. This comes through the grass a lot better than a spinnerbait does. I'm still planning on throwing the spinnerbait some, but in the meantime, I wanna try this out and see if maybe this little bit of a different look gets some of these fish fired up again. Fish on, fish on. That's a good one. They're schooling behind me. That's crazy. Fish on the chatterbait, though. Fish on the chatterbait. Come on, how big are you? Oh, he was just biting hard. Dang, these fish are biting so hard today. He's still a good one, though. I'll take it. And they literally just came up schooling right behind me. Get up here. Oh, yeah, look how thick that one is. Holy crap. That is awesome. Nice fish on the chatterbait. We made that swap so we could fish that thick grass a little bit better, and it was a good move. Nice solid fish, two and a quarter. Just fat and healthy. I've got one last thing I wanna try before I move on up, and that is this buzz bed. I had it back here in the back of the kayak, and I feel like I shouldn't leave here without at least giving me a couple of casts. Um, these fish are obviously feeding on top. I thought I had a walking bait in my bag, but I don't. Um, but this should work in theory. I've caught a lot of fish recently on this buzz bait, so let's give it a few casts. See if we can pop one right here, and then I think we're gonna move up just a little bit. Hey, fish on! <laughs> on the buzz bait, baby. On the freaking buzz bait. <laughs> I normally don't have that good of luck with the buzz bait when it's this windy, but it's the only top water bait I have, and I wanted to make sure that I gave it a shot before I moved. Hey, he just came up and slurped it. Just came up and slurped it. We got him on the trailer hook too, look at that. Super important to always have a trailer hook on your buzz bait, I feel like. It's looking good too, whew. Not a monster, but hey, that's a way that we could catch a bigger fish. I catch so many big fish on top water this time of year, and uh, I've caught a lot of big fish recently on a buzz bait. That again is that uh, Tackle HD Worldwide buzz bait, and I've got a six cent stroker craw on the back, and then on the back I have a six cents trailer hook. This has just been a money combination for me this fall, and I'm gonna toss it right back out there. Hey, another fish. <laughs> it's been a minute since we hooked one. There we go. Just another, just normal looking schoolie sized bass. All these fish back here are about the same size, but I just have a feeling that if we just keep casting and keep catching, we're eventually gonna run into a good one. Not to say it's not a good bass, it's definitely a nice one, but it would be very nice <laughs> to catch a four or five pounder today. But I'm having a blast. Haven't caught this kind of numbers in a minute. Oh, I saw a big one jump out there. Dang, I keep thinking that I'm gonna run out of water, but I mean, obviously, if I just keep going, there's more fish up that way. That's crazy. I've never caught bass back here, by the way, you guys. It's usually way too shallow. Way too grassy. It's very interesting. We are in the shallowest water we've been in all day, by the way, too. Super shallow, like 10 inches deep. Bass, bass, eat my spinnerbait, bass. Eat my spinnerbait, 
He ate it. He ate it. He ate it. Feels decent. Get out of the pads. Get out of the pads. Oh yeah. Came up jumping. Oh, it's a good one. It is a good one. Oh, he looks so cool. This water's so clear. Nice bass. Nice bass, baby. That's a good one. Come here. No. 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 Yes. Boom. That's a beautiful one. There's another good one. It's been a while since we caught a nicer sized one, but there's like another three pounder. And she has got her black lipstick on. Look at that. What a beauty. Got some black spots in her fins. Man, this fish looks beautiful in the sunlight like that. It's just glowing. It's just gold. This water back here is so clear. And it was awesome watching this fish fight back to the boat. So epic. We are in a good spot now, I think. Camp schooling. They ate it. The other spot where they camp schooling, they did it dirty. We didn't catch anything back there. See ya. Oh, dirty dog. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. About to go down. Oh, that's a good bass. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's the one we're after, baby. I told you guys on a buzz bait. I told you guys on a buzz bait. That's how we're gonna get the big one. That's our biggest of the day, I think. He came up and crushed it. He's just got the trailer hook. He's just barely got the trailer hook. Oh. Got him. Yes. Woohoo! Heck yes, guys. Oh, finally. Finally. After all this time, after all this fishing, covered a bunch of water, I knew that if we just kept our head down, kept grinding, kept casting, we would eventually hook up with a bigger fish. I'm not sure if he's gonna be four pounds or not. I've got my scale in the bag. Just got him on that trailer hook, guys. That is just incredible. Whew, they came up schooling behind me. Let's go, let's weigh this guy. He's gonna be close, he's gonna be close. I'm thinking four one. Boom, baby, we did it. <laughs> Four pounds even. That is a quality largemouth, my friends. We've caught some nice three pounders, three and a half pound fish. We finally got four pound bass in the boat on the buzz bait. Take a look at that fish, guys. Beautiful specimen. Four pounds on the dot. I have a feeling we have a chance to catch some more. The sun's starting to go down a little bit. It might get these fish really worked up, really get them feeding. But we're gonna send this guy back into the water and we're gonna see if we catch some more. Guys, there are literally bass coming up all around me now. I saw another one come up here in front of me. Like pretty much where I caught that last one. There's some coming up behind me. I'm gonna lock this buzz back in my hands for a minute longer. There he is. <laughs> I told you, I just saw another one come up right there. I'm gonna keep this buzz bait in my hand for a little bit longer while we're kind of out of that heavy wind. Woohoo! He's not like the last one, but we'll take it. Get up here. Yes, mixing it up on him. <laughs> the deadliest combo in fishing, spinner bait, and buzz bait. Look at that. Another nice one. I want the big ones now. I'm, a, I'm hooked on those big ones. Oh, I missed him. He came back for it. That feels like another good one. It is. Get over the loop pads. Get over the loop pads. Get over the loop pads. Yes. Oh, there's more over there. Yes. Another guy, oh, he choked it. He missed it, the bait went underwater and he ate it subsurface. That was dirty. He choked it, he choked it. There's more over there too, I think. Another good one. How many have we caught so far, 20? I have not been able to keep count at all. I know there's another bass over there. I know there's another one. Come on, come on, come on. There he is. I told you, I saw several over there. Buzz bait, get over the grass. Get over the grass. Ah! Yes. Buzz baiting them. Buzz baiting them. They can't resist it. Quality seems to definitely be a little bit better on the buzz bait. And that's usually what you're gonna find whenever you throw topwater baits. Yes, let's get back over there. I think there's more. I don't know why. It looks like there's more fish over there. Oh, he bit it and I missed him. Well. Looks like they've messed up my Strucker Craw beyond repair. Look at that, it's all split up. I think this is the only Strucker Craw in my bag, but 
I think I've got some swim baits in here and they will work also on the back of this buzz bait. Let's hope we got some swim baits in here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we want to use a little swim bait or the big swim bait? Hmm. I think I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna do a little swim bait first. This is the Six Sense Divine swim bait. It's a 3.8 inch size. This is a pretty accurate representation of the bait fish that they are eating out here today. So, we'll slide the thing onto the hook. We'll see how this works. Looks pretty dirty. Put my trailer hook back on here. And we are ready to go again. Got him. There's another nice one. Uh, seems like they don't really care too much if it's a swim bait or a stroker crawl on the back of the buzz bait. Thanks for skiing them in. <laughs> it makes it easy on us. There we go, he's fighting again. Get up here. Looks like another like, two pounder or so. Yeah, another fatty. Nice, nice. How many fish have we caught that looks like this today? So many. Got both hooks, not just one. Beautiful fish. Go back out there. Oh, right there, right there, right there. If we get bit right here, it's gonna be epic. Oh, yes, he did it. <laughs> I told you I saw one come up right there. Oh my gosh, there's literally thousands of shag going underneath the boat right now. Oh, just a little guy. Just a little guy, but he came up and just annihilated it. Came out of the water for it. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to put all these bass in this video. It's unreal how many we're catching today. Ah. Oh, that was not a tiny one. God, in that time. That's a nice one. I missed him over there like four times in a row. Finally got him. Let's go. I don't know what the deal was with that. I think I missed five fish in a row before finally hooking up with this guy. He's a nice one. See you. Jump. <laughs> he got confused. Oh my gosh. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Right by the kayak. That was insane. Nice fish too. Come here. Ooh, that was crazy. He bit right next to the kayak. That's a tank. For what he is, he is a very thick, very well built fish. I mean, he's only gonna be about two and a half pounds, but I mean, just look at how tall and stocky that guy is. What a beautiful guy. Get back, get big. Okay, I'm looking to catch one more fish and I'm gonna try to head in. Hopefully we can get one right here. I saw one come up. Got him. Yes. That's a decent one too. Decent one. That's a good one. Get up here. Come here. Yeah, baby. I just seen a giant school of shad and they were acting like something was trying to get them. So I threw my buzz bait over the top of them and boom, this guy came up and clobbered it just like all the other fish that have been fighting the buzz bait today. He's about the same size as most of the fish we've been catching today. Solid two pounder. We've caught a lot of nice fish out here today. It's been an unbelievable afternoon. I didn't know if I was gonna catch anything or not. And I'm so glad I decided to come out here on the lake and uh, do some fall fishing. And this is what you get when you come out in the fall. You catch a bunch of fish and it's just a lot of fun. So I'm gonna send this guy back into the water and I think I'm gonna make my way back to the house. It's just been too much fun out here today. We will see you later, bud. Man, what an afternoon of bass fishing we had yesterday. We caught so many bass. That is definitely the most bass I've caught in a single outing in quite some time. And it was kind of unexpected too. I had the plans to go out and just do some scouting around the lake. I thought I was gonna catch them over in the shade line of those cypress trees, but as y'all saw, that didn't really pan out. And I am very glad that I made that move to that other location and just stumbled upon all of those bait fish and all the bass feeding on them. I mean, we caught so many, we could have caught so many more had we had more time out there. But the good news is, I'm sure you kind of hear it 
kind of swirling around. We have very similar conditions today that we had yesterday. Uh, sunny skies, a lot of wind. So I'm thinking that there's a pretty good chance that there are gonna be some bass hanging out in that same general area as yesterday, probably feeding on some more shad. And we're gonna try to exploit that today at some point. I think Jay and I are gonna sneak out there, see if we can put some more fish in the boat, maybe try to figure out where the big ones are hiding. Um, but one more thing I want to touch on before I sign out today's video is y'all probably saw throughout the majority of the video I was throwing this bright orange fishing rod. This is my old uh, carrot stick fishing rod from whenever I was a kid. Whenever I was a kid I was obsessed with these carrot stick fishing rods mainly because my favorite color was orange and because they were pretty high tech for the time. Um, I remember I would save up all my Christmas money, all my lunch money and I'd buy a couple each year and a lot of people didn't like them but I liked them a lot. But I don't think you can get them anymore. They, have, they think they changed companies. They just kind of got weird on me and I quit using them. And of course, I have all these great six cents rods that I love a lot too. But it was fun to go out and use one of my childhood rods out on the lake today. It's just been sitting in the corner of my sunroom just begging to get some use. And this is one of my favorite spinnerbait rods. It's just seven foot heavy. And as you guys saw, it rips them on a spinnerbait. So one little call to action I have is if maybe some of y'all out there possibly have some old carrot sticks laying around, I am probably pretty interested in maybe making a trade with you or maybe buying some off of you. Um, it'd just be cool to have some more for nostalgic purposes. I had to sell my entire arsenal um, a few years ago on hard times and I'm sad because I, because I can't find them anywhere. So if y'all have any, let me know down in the comment section. And of course, if y'all enjoyed today's episode, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and we will catch you again very soon on the next video. Bye guys.